Spectrum analyzers are useful tools for frequency domain signal analysis. The Regal DSA-815 is a portable spectrum analyzer that uses an all-digital IF technology. It is ideally suited for basic RF measurements. Let's take a look at the front panel layout and basic operations of the DSA-815. The DSA-815 has an 8-inch LCD screen with 800 by 480 pixels. On the left and right sides of the screen, we have various buttons, knobs, and a direction button, as well as a numeric keypad. There is also a USB port for accessing external USB drives. The Regal DSA815 is a spectrum analyzer with frequency range from 9 kHz to 1.5 GHz. For a spectrum analyzer, the horizontal axis denotes frequency and vertical axis denotes amplitude or power. On the left of the screen, there are three shortcut keys a preset key that can recall a user setup, a quick print key that will send a copy of the display to an external USB memory stick, and a help key. On the right of the display, we have a series of operation menu keys. The function keys on the front panel can be divided into six areas. They are the basic settings area, sweep control, marker measurement, advanced measurement, utility function, and shortcut keys. First, let's have a look at the three basic parameter settings of frequency, span, and amplitude. The frequency menu allows the user to change the start, stop, and center frequency values, as well as other frequency-dependent settings. Span changes the frequency span that is displayed, and amplitude allows the user to change the vertical scale and units being displayed. In the sweep control area, we can set the sweep parameters of the analyzer. In the bandwidth detector menu, we can set resolution bandwidth and video bandwidth, as well as select the detector type and the filter type. The sweep trig key is used to set the sweep and trigger parameters. The trace pass fail key can be used to set trace parameters and configure the pass fail testing. Or TG function can output the sweep signal, which can be used to analyze frequency response characteristics of devices such as filters and amplifiers. After getting an expected trace displayed, we can also perform basic measurements. The DSA815 provides various marker functions and advanced measurement functions. In the marker measurement area, there are four function keys. The marker function can read the amplitude, frequency, and sweep time of the specified point on the trace. The marker2 function can set a basic parameter, such as center frequency or reference level, to the corresponding value of the current marker. The marker function can also provide advanced measurements based on the specified marker, such as noise marker, NDB bandwidth, and a frequency counter. For the peak function, once you press the down button, the analyzer will search the peak on the current trace and open the search parameter menu. There are also optional advanced measurement functions available. If your DSA815 has been set up with the AMK option, you can choose any of the functions and set the parameters in the measure setup menu. Press the measure button, and we can see the advanced measurement functions VSWR, total power, adjacent channel power, channel power, occupied bandwidth, emission bandwidth, carrier to noise ratio, harmonic distortion, and TOI. In addition, the DSA815 also provides demodulation functions for AM and FM signals. Press the demod button to set the parameters of the demodulation function. In the Utility menu, we can set system parameters, print, and store files. There are two shortcut keys on the front panel. They are Auto and User Key. Pressing Auto, the analyzer will search for signals in a full frequency range automatically. The User Key will recall a predefined menu location. This key can be defined as any of the functions on the front panel except the storage function. The above introduction is for the function keys on the front panel. We can also use the knob, direction key, and numeric keys to input parameters. 
There are four connectors on the front panel, a USB host connector, an audio output connector, a tracking generator output if that option is available, and the RF input. This concludes our summary of the DSA 815 front panel layout.